Next thing you want to do is check the Skylock. Skylock is a braking mechanism, secondary braking mechanism required by OSHA on all man riding hoists. Um, basically, it's got a manual trip and it's got a reset lever. Um, if you manually trip it, run the hoist in the down direction, the Skylock should hold the load. Note it is holding the load here. Note the bite of wire rope um, right here. Um, in order to reset this, there's two jaws inside of here that would spread apart. Right now they're engaged on the wire rope. I can't disengage those because the handle here, um, I first need to be able to go up, spread those jaws apart, and then I'll be able to reset it. If I try and force this right now, there's a pin inside of here that's designed to shear off. Um, as you're going in the up direction, you should be checking a couple things. Number one, that you have enough wire rope to reach the ground or your lowest drop and also that the wire rope is exiting the hoist at the same rate that it's entering it just to make sure that you don't have a rope jam. So I'm going to check this right now. It's coming out at the same rate. Just going up a couple inches, spread those jaws apart. Now I can take this handle, very easily turn it in the counterclockwise position. The hoist will operate in the up and down direction. The next thing you want to do is um, check the Skylock that it actually works in an overspeed condition. The way you do that is by setting the hoist on the ground, um, getting some slack in the wire rope. I'm going to manually trip the Skylock again. I'm then going to operate the hoist in the down direction. Note the bite of wire rope again that's coming out. I'm going to reset the Skylock. It's not under a load right now, so I can reset this handle. I'm going to give a firm tug on here. If this works in an overspeed condition, this should engage or lock up on the wire rope within two inches. So I'm just going to give a firm tug here. You can see it's locked up in about an inch and a half. I can reset that handle again, try it again. You can see it's locked up again. Um, so we now know that the overspeed works in an overspeed condition and it will also hold the load. Happen um, in, a, in a feature that Sky Climber has on their hoist um, is this hand wheel feature where maybe for whatever reason the hoist is up in the air and let's say the Skylock gets tripped Let's say it's under a load. You can see the bite of wire rope out here. Now, for whatever reason, maybe the scaffold loses power. Okay, now I have no power. Um, I can't go down on the controlled descent because my Skylock is holding me up in the air. I cannot reset the Skylock um, because the jaws are under a load. So I need a way to raise this hoist to spread those jaws apart so I can reset the Skylock and then come down using the controlled descent feature on the hoist. That's what this hand wheel is for. It's mounted on a bolt. Basically what I want to do is unscrew it from here. You'll notice on the back of the hoist, um, there's a plug on the back. If I remove that plug, I'll expose the shaft uh, of the motor itself. And basically I can take the hand wheel. You'll notice that there's a keyway on it. I can mount the hand wheel in onto the shaft itself and basically I can crank the hoist. Now right now I can't turn this hand wheel because the primary brake, which is holding this hoist in the air right now, is set. So it won't allow me to turn the shaft in the motor. What I have to do is pull out on the controlled descent. That will release that primary brake, allow me to turn the handle in the clockwise position. And if you watch the wire rope right here, you can see that this wire rope, it's actually turning the hoist in the up direction. Right now I'm not really under a load because the Skylock is still holding it. Basically I'm going to start cranking. Okay, now I'm, now I'm starting to get under a load where I'm, I'm going to be pulling it up. So what I'd normally do here is pull out on the brake, turn the hand wheel clockwise, let off on the brake. Again, pull out, turn it clockwise, let off. Again, pull out. You'll notice that I'm actually raising the hoist by about a quarter inch a turn. Okay, once I've raised the hoist enough, I should be able to take this handle on the Skylock, reset it, take the handle on the Skylock here, reset it. Again, you want to be careful, make sure you take the, the hand wheel out, put it back on its mounting bolt. Okay, Skylock is now reset. Now again, I can use the controlled descent lever, pull out, Again, I still have no power. Okay, I've reset the Skylock. I can pull out on this controlled descent. Again, we still have no power. Now what I do is, again, go back to the controlled descent lever. Simply pull out on that lever. 
and I can descend down to the ground without power. Once you've gone through these basic pre-operational checks, the platforms can be put into service. Um, once, we've got, once I've gone through these pre-operational checks, the platform can be put into service and uh, used. These pre-operational checks should be done at the start of each shift.